Hello Barb, uh, this is John. I just want to go over how to do this integral. The integral you gave me was 2x plus 1 over 4 plus x squared dx. I, got, I think this is the way you have to do it. You have to split it up in two integrals. So you have the integral 2x over 4 plus x squared dx um, plus the integral of 1 over 4 plus x squared dx. And then on um, the one side, I'm going to work on this integral. You let u be um, 4 plus x squared as a substitution. du equals 2x dx. And then um, you have a nice easy integral where the 2x dx gets substituted for du. And the bottom is just... A u and this part of the integral becomes the natural log of um, u, which then becomes natural log of um, 4 plus x squared. Um, so that's one half. The next part I have to do on another page, so I'm going to break that integral up and go to the next page, and then we'll put all back together at the end. So we have the integral of. Um, 1 over 4 plus x squared dx. And I've seen this one before, like in the textbook, kind of similar to this, where I want to force a uh, inverse tangent to work out. So I'll make 2u my um, x value for substitution. Um, du will equal, or 2du will equal my dx. And more importantly from this, x squared will be 4u. So when you substitute that in, you have 1 over 4 plus, um, sorry, but that should be 4u squared. D, uh, let me just make sure of this. Um, substituted 4 plus 4u, my dx is replaced with 2du, so I'll put a 2 out here, my du is behind. So now I factor a 4 out of the bottom, and I have 2 over 4 integral 1 over 1 plus u squared du, and this is a nice easy integral, it's a half. This part is inverse tan of u, and um, so now that's going to be 1 half in, inverse tan of, um, I have to replace the u, u was equal to x over 2. If you remember this part, u is x over 2. So um, let me just erase that. Uh, so that's x over 2 plus c. So you have the part from the earlier page. You have this part, ln of 4 plus x squared. And you have added to it this part, um, if you can read that. And I hope this helps you kind of... Um, with this question. It's definitely a difficult question. I, I hope this isn't, um, you know, I'm, I don't know, maybe you could have done something with partial fractions, but if this is an AB question, I think this is the only way the kids could do it with AB material. Let me know if this helps, and I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye.